today we're going to do a quick tutorial on our USB mold and drive set that you can get from southernblingandsupplies.com. It takes either the UV resin that we sell or regular resin. I'm going to use regular today because not everybody has the UV yet. This is an 8 gigabyte. The hole is what you're going to be putting inside your resin. This is the part that will go into your computer once it's all set. The mold has four cavities. These can either stay small USBs or you can do this part and then once it's cured, pull it out, stick it back in this side, add to it and it'll add dimension or design however you want to do it. All right, so for starters, you're just going to take this end of your, your USB port and stick it into the hole inside your mold. It doesn't matter if it's which side is up or which side is down. And just make sure you press it all the way in so it gets a good seal and the resin does not get down in there. We're going to be using Dimensional Aquamarine. It's one of our dimensional lines. It has different shapes, sizes. It adds really good dimension to geodes or to any of your, your projects that you're working on. And you just mix your glitter with your resin. I'm going to mix quite a bit because what we have left over I'm, I'm going to do a different mold with. Just mix it up until you don't see any clear. That way you know you'll have a good consistency and a good feel. You won't have any clear spots in your mold. All right, and then you just pour it in. It's going to shrink as it cures, so always try to have a little bit of a bubble at the top of your mold with your resin. If not, you'll have an edge. And that's pretty much it. You just have to let it set and cure. If you do have any that runs over, take a baby wipe and you can just wipe off the edges. When this is cured, I will unbox it so that you guys can see the finished product as well. This is our Dimensional Diamonds. It's the same line, just a different color. And we're going to put this in the llama mold.
this USB mold takes about 10 mLs of epoxy. This one is about 8, and both of the small ones are roughly 5 mLs. For this mold, I used FX Premium Epoxy, two-part resin. When you're filling your keychain molds, you want to make sure you get resin above the hole placement. If not, when you put your, your keychain loop in, it's not going to have anything to hold on to. Kind of clean your rim up and again with these molds as well have that bubble so that you don't have to sand it down any This, this is hot for to a couple of little molds here. Do the little flower keychain mold. These are the mini molds that are on the website. Just make sure you get it above the keyhole. It's a little hard to see in that white mold. Alright, when those get done, I will do a quick video undoing them so that you can see what this one's going to look like as the complete finished product. Alright, so we have let these cure approximately 16 hours or so, so we're going to go ahead and pop them out. I'm 
And that is the dimensional aquamarine and the dimensional diamonds. You just kind of break it free, break your mold free away from your epoxy. And then just peel them out. See the dimension that the dimensional mix gives. These are gorgeous on geodes. Kind of peel it back so you don't pull your mold or tear your mold. And then I press from there. And that's the dimensional aquamarine.